we can learn a lot about the number one selling drug in the world. Now, I'm not going to tell people not to take this drug. I'm not going to tell people to take it. And I'm definitely not here to get in the middle of you and your doctor with this medication. But if I had this particular illness and needed this drug and I was told about this drug, I would want some additional information. And that's what I want to share with you today. This drug is projected to produce over $27 billion at the end of this year, 2024. And it's a cancer drug. And it's very unique in that it's creating a paradigm shift in oncology. Because what it does is it actually uh, targets a very specific thing for certain types of cancer, not all of cancer. It's called precision medicine. So it's not a broad-based antibiotic or like chemotherapy. It's very targeted to this one thing. It releases the brakes on your own immune system. Cancer is always trying to evade your immune system. This specific drug is called Keytruda, which does something to block that mechanism and allows your own immune system to be able to tag and see where the cancer cells are so they can kill it. So that's one thing I really like about the strategy is that you're getting your own immune system to do the work. It's like training this elite special forces to do a very specific job to attack a very specific invader, okay? They also use this drug for autoimmune diseases, infections, and cancer. You know, I like this strategy better if you have the type of cancer that this can help you with versus chemotherapy, which kills off cancer and your immune system. It pretty much wipes everything out. We're dealing with something called immunomodulation, okay? This is something that either increases or decreases or blocks your immune system. There are quite a few side effects. As I'm going to scroll down, you can see all the different side effects. There's, there's many, so it doesn't come without its problems. Now, the other problem with this drug is that it doesn't work on all types of cancer. Cancer is very diverse. In other words, there are certain cancers that don't even have the specific pathway for this to deal with. And cancer has a super ability to also adapt. The cancer cells that are remaining from that insult, they become resistant, they become super strong, and they can go out of control. Similar to taking an antibiotic, these microbes uh, resist that and they become stronger. Now you have these super bugs. Also, this drug does not address the fuel for the cancer or it doesn't block the raw materials that it needs to build cancer cells. And the drug doesn't address the, the microenvironment where this cancer lives. I think an approach that uses multiple strategies at the same time just would be really smart if you have cancer. So the first question is, is there anything natural that is in an immunomodulator? And the answer is yes. There are a lot of different natural remedies that help to increase or decrease the immune system. In fact, this is how a lot of drug companies get their ideas and develop patents for various research in the area of plant chemicals. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's over 50% of all drugs are derivatives of something that came from nature. So we have astragalus. Okay, that's very potent. We have the reishi mushroom. There's also other types of mushrooms too that deal with cancer. And then of course you just have vitamin D in relationship to cancer. And think about what vitamin D does as in an immunomodulator. I mean, I personally take 20,000 I use of vitamin D3 every single day, especially if someone's dealing with an autoimmunity type problem or inflammation. I would also address the diet. I would do things to avoid fueling the cancer cell. I would also do fasting because that is the most powerful thing to help starve off cancer. And if you can't do prolonged fasting, you can do the fasting mimicking diet, okay, which is a bit easier. And you would do that for five days, once a month, maybe every three weeks. And also there's something that uh, medicine doesn't really get into. It's the mindset. I personally know people who are very strong. Willed. They're not going down with cancer. There's a reason why when the doctor says you have this amount of time to live that there's a high correlation between the person only living that amount of time because somehow that gets in your mind and you agree with it and then all of a sudden that happens. But I think it's really, really important to disagree with cancer and 
basically say, you know, I'm going to survive no matter what. I'm going to make it happen. There are also nutritional protocols to help starve cancer. And if you have not seen my video that I recently did, I cover all the protocols and what you need to do. And I put that video right here. Check it out.